Hello, saver. Whether you're saving for that trip to the tropics or saving for an emergency, now is the time to take advantage of Wells Fargo's savings options. Wells Fargo offers savings accounts that can help you save towards your goals. So, what are you saving for? Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com backslash save to open a savings account today. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. You are listening to the Hiking Radio Network, where we talk the walk with shows by hikers about hikers for everybody. I'm wondering if you'd go wandering with me through the wilderness and woods to where the winds are blowing free through the darkness of the night heading toward the morning. Welcome to the Jester Section Hiker Podcast with the spotlight on section hikers. And I'll spread the word and you beat the drum. We'll round up the troops and get the gang to come. And we'll leave the streets and these neighborhoods head over the river. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Jester Section Hiker Podcast, your premier podcast with the spotlight on section hikers, and I'm your host, Julie Jester Gayhart. Before I get to our next member of Jester's class of 2022 section hikers, I wanted to fill you in on some of my summer happenings as the school year ends and I turn my focus to getting out on the trails and getting in some hiking myself. My first stop will be at NC Trail Days in Elkin, North Carolina, next weekend on Saturday, June the 4th. I will be leading a couple of hikes and hosting a talk at the Reeves Theater with former and current Mountains of Sea Trail completers. If you want more information about NC Trail Days, check out their website at nctraildays.com. After that, I will be kicking off my summer by backpacking for a few days with a couple of really good hiking friends on the Appalachian Trail in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Then my plan is to get in some more miles on the Mountains of Sea Trail and spend some time base camping at a few of my favorite campgrounds in western North Carolina. Western North Carolina is a hiker's dream with over 40 6,000 foot peaks. It's time to put in some training and get back to climbing some of my favorite peaks and fire tower locations. I will also be working on a project this summer with my co-host, Austin Wallace, on a project that will combine our skills with interviewing, storytelling, and video. I'm excited for what we have going on, and I cannot wait to share it with you all later this coming August and September. My overall goal, in addition to working on the project with Austin, is to get in shape for my TSX Challenge trip back to the High Sierra in California at the end of August. I will be going on that trip with Mighty Blue, our network producer, and a couple more listeners from the Hiking Radio Network. We will be backpacking for eight days in the High Sierra with the overall goal of finally summiting Mount Whitney. And then if that's not enough, in October, I will be hosting a couple of workshops at the Alda Gathering again this year. One of those will be centered around the Mountains of Sea Trail, and then I will be hosting a workshop specifically about podcasting with the host of the Green Tunnel Podcast, Mills Kelly. If you want to follow along, you can always follow me over on Instagram at Jester Section Hiker for updates or join my weekly email list where I send out more details about projects, hikes, and workshops. You can sign up for that email list over on our website at hikingradionetwork.com and click on the Jester Section Hiker Show and you'll find all the sign-up information there. As I am out this summer, the podcast will not miss a beat with episodes each week on Saturday introducing you to a new member of Jester's class of 2022 Section Hikers and today's show is no exception. This week, I introduce you to Celeste Queen. I ran into Celeste last summer at NC Trail Days out on the Mountains of Sea Trail, and we have been communicating and messaging each other ever since. 
I reached out to Celeste to see if she would come on and chat with us about her section hiking plans on the MST this year and to chat with us about a new venture she is taking on as one of Anna's lead dames with starting a new chapter of the Trail Daves here in North Carolina. Here's a little more about Celeste from her bio. Celeste is a retiree living the hiking life. She began hiking three years ago after being a couch potato forever. Hiking has given her the opportunity to exercise without the repetition of a gym, experience the beautiful state of North Carolina, and meet hundreds of amazing people. Thanks for joining me for another episode, and now on to Celeste Queen, who's out there hiking and living the life. All right, you guys, welcome back to the podcast. And with me today is uh, my fellow Mountains to Sea Trail section hiker, Celeste Queen. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here, Jester. And I don't know why my voice went up when I said Queen. So it is Celeste Queen. That's right. And you're laughing at me, so it must be right. So (laughs) that's right. (laughs) So, you guys, Celeste and I, when did we meet? I think we actually met on the Mountains think, of Sea Trail. Is that right? I believe so. And I think it was part of the uh, NC Trail Days in Elkin last yeah. year. Yeah. So we actually we physically, met. physically yeah. met on the trail. And you guys, Celeste was out there killing it. She was out there getting her miles in, I think, before all the festivities were starting. I don't know if it was that Friday or Saturday of that weekend. And you actually did a lot of hiking that weekend. I, I did. I led um, or co-led a couple hikes. Um, and Thoroughly enjoyed that. I'm going to lead a couple more hikes this year for trail days. My favorite time of the year. Yes. I'll tell you what, it's right before it gets too hot in North Carolina because uh, Elkin, the city of Elkin, North Carolina is actually, I guess it's considered the Piedmont. So it's in what I would call regular elevation. So the heat is a factor, but uh, so you and I'll be back out there again this year and hopefully we will connect there. So uh, the listeners, they have heard a little bit about your bio that you wrote and a little bit about who you are, but you've just started hiking three years ago. And if you don't mind, uh, let's get into that a little bit. And if you don't mind, tell people how old you are. Okay. Well, (laughs) I, um, in another two months, I will be 72 years old. I, so awesome. I started hiking three years ago, uh, January of 2019, I think. I had been, I done, had done some walking, just ordinary. I live out in the country, so not a whole lot of uh, walking where I live on the country roads, but I had been in a walking group. I walked be, um, before that while I was still working and got soon got bored with that and realized that hiking was like the next step. And that's what I've been doing ever since. And I know I abruptly asked you how old you were. So my apologies (laughs) on that. But the reason I asked that is I have a lot of listeners that are what I'm going to call, um, I always say I'm a, a lady of a certain age and there are women out there getting it done out on the trails that are in certain age brackets. So, and I think it's awesome um, you know, that you were out there walking. And so what actually led you to the Mountains of Sea Trail? I believe the first time that I stepped on the Mountain to Sea Trail was a hike. I think the same trail where we met, a, a hike in um, Elkin when they had a birthday hike. That would have been t- three years ago. That would have been, well, it would be September of 2019 that I went to a birthday hike, MST birthday hike sponsored by the Elkin Valley Trail Association. And I've been hiking bits and pieces of the MST now more in earnest than I ever have, but uh, I'm enjoying every step of the way. Okay, you guys, when she says now more in earnest, I mean, you are pretty much out. I mean, you're out every weekend, if not every other weekend, right? Oh, yes, yes. Every, um, pretty much every weekend, unless I've got family things going on, and a lot of times during the week. So I try to get out several times a week, not always on the MST, but I try to do that as much as possible. 
And you've also connected with, uh, you guys are familiar with uh, the Trail Dames podcast. The listeners are. And the host of that show, who was part of the Hiking Radio Network, along with myself, uh, Anna Huthmaker, or Bud Butt. She is the founder of Trail Dames. As Celeste, you are, did you start another chapter in the state of North Carolina of Trail Dames? Talk to us about that. Well, I, st- I had... Um joined trail dames a couple years ago i don't know how i found about found out about them i'm sure it had to be through social media and had gone on a couple of camping trips in uh western north carolina and then it just seemed to be a logical thing since there wasn't a trail dames chapter in the majority of north carolina there's one in the raleigh area but not any place west of there that uh, a friend and i start a trail dames chapter here in here in north carolina so we hike at least once a month with the trail dames and hope to get as many people out on the trail as we can and i think it's great okay and talk to us a little bit about okay you guys when the trail dames go camping this is i call it an event so you guys sometimes you pick a campground and you guys set up to the nines right in in some of your locations i know the trail dames backpack and do the backcountry thing but you also enjoy uh setting up and having great campfires and hanging out at campgrounds too right oh yes definitely uh uh big campfire tents all over the place from little one and two person tents to big four and six person tents. Uh, We have lots of fun, lots of laughs, lots of food, and just have a great time. And then we hike during the day, usually. Excellent. And uh, you and I got to spend a little time uh, together a couple weeks ago. And by the time this episode comes out, it'll be uh, several weeks ago. But uh, we also enjoyed uh, some campfire chats and we got to do a little hike together. So I appreciate that. And uh, I'm still thankful you came on the show after we spent some time together at a campfire. (laughs) (laughs) Always a lot of fun. (laughs) And we got to go and visit one of my favorite places um, on the Mountains of Sea Trail in Elkin, North Carolina. Um, The Elkin Valley Trails Association is building this bridge. And I posted about it on social media. It's called the Bridge of Dreams. And that bridge of dreams is going to be something else. And the other day when we were out there, I had gone out the day before just to take a little hike. And, you know, I was looking at that bridge or the potential of what the bridge is going to be. And I just saw so much more than that bridge represents. So how do you feel when you go to that site and you know this phenomenal thing is going to be built? How does that make you feel? Well, it's just exciting to know that this, you know, Elkin is a very small town and the Elkin Valley Trail Association is not big, but they have a lot of might behind their smallness. And I just think it's amazing that we're going to have this bridge of dreams. And I think it's so appropriately named because it's, it could be anybody's dream to hike the mountain to sea trail, to have a bridge to any kind of dream, whether it's hiking or camping or just getting together with friends. It's a pretty exciting opportunity. It is an exciting opportunity. And and you're right. It represents just that. It's like, it's a connection between the small towns that hikers will walk through, a community of individuals and people that you will meet, businesses, you know, the connection with other hikers. Um, And you and I would not have met if there was not that connection. So I'm excited to see. And I know there's, you know, people that are listening to the show, they have that same style of thing going on in their hometown trails. And, you know, that excites me as well. So, but I want to, that's what's exciting. Yes. Yes. There's, there's, everybody has their bridge of dreams. And I, I might just start asking that uh, to people on the show, like, you know, where they are, what's their bridge of dreams and kind of really see what's going on, um, with other people that come on the show. So thanks Celeste for uh, helping me think that through. Sure. (laughs) She's laughing at me now. Like she did at the campfire, looking at me like I'm nuts. (laughs) (laughs) Not at all. Not at all. So (laughs) let's, 
So let's get into the nuts and bolts of this. So obviously we met on the Mountains of Sea Trail. You are very active uh, with the Mountains of Sea Trail and the Trail Dames, but you're also out there trying to achieve your own goals within the Mountains of Sea Trail and putting miles on the trail, but you have a unique way of doing it. And I think we figured out if you actually complete the whole trail, you will have done it twice. So talk to us about that and your method. <laughs> That's right. I'm um, I'm usually a, a solo hiker when I'm on the on the MST because uh, just because of the t- my time availability, I'm I'm pretty available. But a lot of my friends are younger than me and they're still working or they're on other trails. So when I hike, it's usually an out and back hike, and then um, combine that with the fact that. I don't hike long distances. The probably my comfortable max is 10 miles round trip. So that means each little bit that I do on the trail, each little day hike is going to be about five miles or less. So by the time I get done, I'll have done it twice and I'm not a backpacker. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to, you know, go a few miles and camp and then continue on a few more miles. Well, I was going to ask you that because last weekend I tried to convince you to do some backpacking, so I guess it didn't work. No. <laughs> no, that just does, doesn't, I've never tried it. It doesn't appeal to me. doesn't appeal to me. Which is, you know what? That is A-okay because guess what? You're still out hiking on the trail whether you have a big that's old right. pack on or not. That's right. And you're that's doing right. it the way that you could do it. And that's the way, Right. that's one of the main things that I try to get across to people or, or want to get out there. There is no one way because I'm sure you hike with other people that are doing it their way. Oh, yes, most definitely. Most definitely. I hiked this morning a little bit or midday, I think, at a a county park. I live in Davidson County, North Carolina, and hiked in a a county park for just a little bit as a as a, a lead in to a hiking class, if you can call it that, that I'm going to be doing with the uh, local community college. It's a community education class, so it gives me gives me the opportunity to share my love of hiking with um, new people. So I was checking out the trail to make sure it wasn't flooded because it's been flooded in the past. That is awesome. I had no idea you were doing that. So you are actually going to be giving a class. So can you give us like a little sneak peek about what you're going to be talking about? Well, it's um, a class in that there'll be a little... Uh, you know, introductory part where I talk about hiker etiquette and hiker safety and those things that are so very, very important, the the absolute essentials that they need to go on a hike. I have no idea what the level of hiking um, ability or interest is with the people that might join me in this class. So I have to kind of be prepared to um, pretty much talk about anything except backpacking because I don't know anything about that. But it's just some short um, it'll be a short hike, just uh, probably a mile out and a mile back, just to gauge people's interest. And then I'll encourage them to go out on their own, or they can go out with me or join the trail dames and go out with us if they're women. And we'll just have fun. I love that. I had no idea you were to see another aspect, another reason <laughs> I wanted to have you on here because it's just these little golden nuggets of things that you are doing. And I, I just think it's amazing. And in addition to that, I know your plan is to continue uh, hiking on the Mountains of Sea Trail. And prior to uh, hitting that record button, you were kind of explaining that you have a plan, but not really. So tell us what's going on like this summer and in the fall and kind of what you want to accomplish on the MST. Well, the Mountains of Sea Trail, as you know, is broken up into segments. And I live south of Segment 7, which is the whole area between Pilot Mountain and Hanging Rock. So I've done, I bookended that segment. I've done the uh, MST that's at Pilot Mountain and and at Hanging Rock. And the Sourtown Trail Association, the the two mountains are part of the Sourtown Mountains. And the Sourtown Trail Association is a horse club. And they have a trail that goes from um, Pilot Mountain to Hanging Rock. And they have graciously allowed hikers to use that trail most of the year. During during hunting season, nobody uses it. But um, I'm working my way across that and then have done 
uh, some of the the um, miles on the the segments on either either side of of uh, segment seven. So I'll just keep doing that. Excellent. So you are going to pursue that, which is amazing. And, you know, I just get the feeling from you. And another thing that I love that it's not about the miles for you. It isn't. It's about the experience. So what do you enjoy? What do you, what do you enjoy the most when you're out hiking? I just, I just like being outside and being on the trail. I was up until three years ago, I was basically a couch potato. And I wasn't active. I had done some walking, but I wasn't a gym rat. I didn't, I don't like to exercise. <laughs> so this is like <laughs> exercise without exercising, you know, it's keeping, keeping right. me reasonably fit, um, despite my age. And it's just a great opportunity to get out to sometimes meet other people right now to see the wildflowers. Um, I've se- I saw some beautiful wildflowers when I was out this morning. And it gives me a good excuse to go across the state and see all kinds of just the beauty of our state. It's just absolutely amazing here in North Carolina. And what motivates you to invite others and, you know, to keep that, you know, you're doing these out backs, you're doing a class, you've got trail dames. I should say what motivates you and then what motivates you to ask others? Well, I'm a very social person. I'm a, I'm a retired nurse. So nurses are very social people, at least the nurses that I've always worked with. And I like, I don't, I, as I don't mind being solo, but I like to share my experience with somebody else. And if I can get somebody out like me, that's never, never hiked, has never done anything and get them to enjoy it as much as I do, then it's a win-win for all of us. Excellent. And you guys, um, you know, everybody's been hearing me talk about this hammock and I've got a hammock and Celeste is proof (laughs) that I actually do. (laughs) Yes. Yes. You have this cool hammock that I would never even attempt to get into. (laughs) But I'm, I'm, and Celeste, I I think you were there. I'm not sure if you were there when we were putting the hammock up or when we were taking it down, but you are my proof that it does exist. It does. It yeah, does. Okay. It's a beautiful hammock <laughs> from this very unex- inexperienced, uh, non-hammock kind of person. <laughs> I don't know. Did you guys uh, get it? I know Gail got in Stephanie's hammock. Did you get in it as well? Oh, I did too. I got, I didn't post the pictures, but I have, I have a picture to prove it <laughs> that I got in it <laughs> and didn't roll out the other side like I've been known to do before. <laughs> well, excellent. All right, Celeste. We want to follow you. We want to support you. um, And we want to know what you got going on because we might want to join you. So I would love company on social media. Well, uh, my Facebook page is uh, Celeste Queen and my name and my uh, Instagram is hiker underscore girl and C. Excellent. And I think what else I'll do is put your link to the trail dames in the show notes. Oh, yes. Um, so if people want to join that that meetup group. And if you don't mind, I will also put, can I put the trail dames email in there so people can contact you? Yes, by all means. Yes, that would be just fine. All right, perfect. Well, Celeste, I know I am I am going to be seeing you very soon. Yes. Um, we are going to be attending the uh, MST gathering in uh, at Lake Junaluska. So I will see you soon. Happy trails. I am so excited about that. I know. I am pumped. All right, girl, I will see you soon. It was wonderful. Thank you. Happy trails to you. Thanks so much, Celeste, for joining me and being willing to come on the podcast and share your journey to hiking and your goals of getting miles in on the MST this year. Happy trails, my friend, and I know I'll see you out there. Next week, you're going to hear from our first international section hiker that joins Jester's class of 2022 section hikers. I'm excited for you all to learn more about who this hiker is and his section hiking plans out on the Great Divide Trail this summer. Just a quick reminder to check out Celeste's guest bio that will be directly linked to this episode on the Jester Section Hiker page, which can be found by going to hikingradionetwork.com. 
You can also help support in the production of this podcast and all of our shows produced by the Hiking Radio Network by leaving us a donation while you're on there as well. You will see that donate button as you are looking at today's show notes and Celeste's bio. Thanks for listening, be safe out there, and happy section hiking. I'm wondering if you'd go wandering with me Through the wilderness and woods To where the winds are blowing free Through the darkness of the night Heading toward the morning light I wonder if you'd wander with me And I'll spread the word And you beat the drum We'll round up the troops And get the gang to come And we'll leave the streets And these neighborhoods Head over the river I go wandering with you What kind of trouble we'll get ourselves into Would it be wrong to tag along with a band of vagabonds You wonder if I'd wander with you So I'll spread the word and you beat the drum We'll round up the troops and get the gang to come neighborhoods head over the river I'm wondering if you'd come wandering my way If you ever get lost or if the trail leads you astray The music of the pack can always bring you back I wonder, can we wander away? And I'll spread the word and you beat the drum Round up the truth get the gang to come and we'll leave the streets in these neighborhoods head over the river and through the woods Wells Fargo presents one of the surest ways to grow your money a Wells Fargo CD account where you can earn a 5.00% annual percentage yield on an 11-month term with a minimum opening deposit of $5,000. Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com backslash CD rates to open a CD account and start growing your savings with us. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. 